Okay, so we have all of our ESCs installed. I went ahead and hooked up the harness to all the ESCs. You can only plug those in one way. We're, I've got the Spectrum AR8000. We're gonna plug one of our ESCs into the throttle. That's gonna give us power to that. And then we're gonna go ahead and plug the bind cable into here so that we can bind this to the Spectrum radio. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in and you'll see that we're gonna get power to here. You should have a flashing yellow light or a solid yellow light there. You can see them both going right there. We're gonna hold down the bind button, which is on top of the DX8. We're gonna turn that on right there. And we're gonna watch those lights, they go off. Now they went solid, so that's bound now. That's all you have to do. So what you wanna do is unplug the power, and we're gonna go ahead and remove the bind plug. Set that aside, and then we can plug this back in. The spectrum radio is still on. So when we plug this back in, those lights should go solid. So we're in good shape there. So what we wanna to do to calibrate that ESC is we're gonna go ahead and throttle all the way up on the DX8. We're gonna plug this in. You're gonna hear a little different kind of beep and then we're gonna throttle back down. You'll hear it beep a couple times. That is calibrated. Do that to every single one. So I'll show you one more. We're gonna go ahead and plug this. Oops, let's unplug the power here. Plug this into the throttle. You wanna make sure that when you plug it into the throttle that the black wire is on top. The ground wires always go up on the top side to the side of the label. So we'll plug that into the throttle. We'll throttle all the way up there and then we'll power this up. You're gonna hear that weird beeping. That beep says that this one's plugged in. Throttle down, that one says, okay, cool. I know where the ins and outs are. Do that to all four. Make sure you get them all right. Otherwise they won't spin up the same time. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and show you on your NASA where to plug all of these crazy wires into and how they go together. So we'll go ahead and unplug this. And all of these wires here are gonna plug into the front side of the NASA board right there. So you have motor one, motor two, motor three, and motor four. The M stands for motor and one stands for one motor. So we find where that ESC is going and then you need to refer to your little chart here. And this is motor one, motor, or sorry, motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four. And that gives you the direction that they're supposed to be spinning to. When this is flying correctly, when you're looking at the back of it, you should be able to read the XP2 from behind it when you're standing behind it. So that would make this motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four. If you think that you are incapable of remembering that, you could always write those numbers down on the back side here. So as we refer to our chart, this is gonna be motor one over here. So we're gonna find the ESC that goes into that. And we're gonna plug this ESC into M1. And again, on this one, you want the black to be going on the top side right there. And since I have power going to it, I could actually hear that beeping on that motor right there, which is most definitely motor number one. So we'll say motor number two, this is coming out of here. So we track that one down, that one going there, we're gonna plug this in. Again, the black wire on the top. Wow, it beeps and everything. So you know you're doing it right when it's beeping like that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do motor three, which I believe would be this one. Beeping back here, I did it right. And then we'll do this one over here, which is gonna be motor four. And I did it again. I am so good at this. So you have your GPS and all of that stuff hooked up over here. We're gonna go ahead and install these two pieces together. So you have your NASA board, you have all of these crazy wires coming out of here that need to be plugged into here. So this is pretty easy. It says aileron, A for aileron, E for elevator, T for throttle, R for rudder, U is for, you're gonna, U and gear are gonna go together on this one. Then you have AUX one, two, three, and four, or A2, one, two, three. And if you look at this, it has the same markings on it. It's so weird how they just go together. Like the A would be for the A, where's aileron on there? See how they match up? 
There's the A there and an A there. There's an E there for elevator. There's an E there for elevator. So they just match right up. So you just plug those all in, make sure you get them right. So we're gonna start with this one over here. That's an A one. So we'll go find the A here. And again, we wanna make sure that our the brown wires on the top because that's the negative. Remember how I told you all the negative wires need to be on the top towards the label. So let's look at the next one, E for elevator. And there's elevator right there, right next to the aileron. That's so crazy. Plug that one in there. Boy, we are making this happen. What's next? T for throttle. Let's find that. T is there. There's throttle right there on there. It's so amazing how these are all just lining right up. Okay, rudder would be next. Find the rudder. That's the R and it should be right there next to the gear. And the gear is gonna be, again, where I said the U is, that is gonna be where you plug the gear in. There's the gear right there. And then remember how I told you there was the AUX one and two and three? I'm gonna tell you something. They match here too, AUX one, two, and three. So we'll go ahead and plug one in to one, which is this one here. Okay, there we go. Now we have one channel left and that's AUX three. All right, so everything's hooked up. We have power, we've got lights flashing, we have things happening. It's all working, so now we're just gonna install it. So basically, what we have done is we took our little installing plate, we mounted that to the NASA. This way is forward, the side that you actually have your, your wires that come from your ESCs go point forward. And again, if you're looking at it this way, that would be forward. So what we wanna do is install this thing this way with those wires coming out the front. So you're gonna have this wire here, and this is going to allow you to plug in off of the power on the, on the harness here. You have the extra power. What you wanna do, because we're gonna have more than one thing on here, is you're going to plug this guy in just like that. Make sure that's nice and snug. We have a power here that will go into our GPS unit and then we'll have two extra powers in case you're running like FPV and a gimbal, then you can run that power right off of your flight battery so that you don't have to have a whole bunch of these things coming right off of the wire harness. So your wire harness is gonna come through here so you can go ahead and take out this little rubber insert, put your wire or your uh, wire harness through there. And then we're gonna go ahead and run our GPS cable because this is going to sit back here on the back arm so I'm going to go ahead and run this through right there and then I'm going to let the GPS hang out there and then we'll plug this guy in here so all your electronics now are plugged in the way that they should be again you want this part facing forward so if we're going to check it again that's forward so that is correct so we'll go ahead and get all of our wires moved out of the way and we're gonna plug this in right here. Hold on one second. I'm gonna have the master show you how to do it. Okay, first of all, I unplug these two so I can, on the side here so I can put everything in and then I'll, I'll plug them back in later. But these two are, go toward the front. So you spread these out so you can put this down in there. And then you put your standoff screws one at each side, and then this has Velcro on it, or we'll, you'll be given Velcro to put on the back of this. So this will go fit right inside here. And then this little NASA module will fit right on top of it. And this needs to be plugged in. How does this come on? This needs to be plugged in there. Where's there? Oh, AUX3? Yeah. Yes, AUX3, on the NASA. There we go. So that's in there. Pretend you have screws in there. 
And then these wires right here for the ESCs will be, you can twist them up like this and lay them down on top of here and then zip tie these wires to the NASA frame, the metal frame there. I'm just showing you how to do it, I'm not gonna actually do it. And then this is part of the receiver. You'll put this with the Velcro right on this little spot here. And then the GPS wire, <coughs> excuse me, can just tuck in right here on the side. And then this LED module, this is what you use to <coughs> uh, do the firmware upgrade. It'll plug in, you'll sit that right on this side right here. Then when you got all of that in there and zip tied down, the way you, you know, so it's out of the way and it's not dangling all over the place. Then you plug this battery harness back in. Take this grommet out and thread this through. And this can be just tucked in here inside here because you'll need access to this wire so that you can. So I took the sticky off. I'm gonna go ahead, I want this arrow facing forward. So I'm gonna stick that on right there. That's done. Um, we need to check the rotation of the motors and make sure that they're spinning correctly. We're gonna go back to this great little deal that I was showing you earlier. We're gonna check motor one, two, and three, and four. So one and three are both gonna be spinning counterclockwise. Two and four should be spinning clockwise. If, they, if your motors are spinning the wrong direction, basically all you have to do is come under here and unplug two of these wires and then switch those two wires any two wires, it doesn't matter which ones or what color they are or anything, that will reverse the, that will reverse the direction that those motors would be going at that point. So that's basically how you install those. Make sure everything is turning the right way before you put on your props. Make sure you do your computer setup, which I have another video on right now uh, um, for your NASA. So make sure you do all that before you put your props on and go try to fly it.